Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, and we'll be, uh, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer your questions. My name is Sarah, and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, just a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can, however, and we encourage you to do so, to use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of uh, many different sessions happening, so be sure to check the schedule on the website. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, North Carolina State University. Taylor, you are muted. Taylor, yep, you you are muted. Taylor. Had to be interesting. <laughs> All right, let me go back. Sorry. Eating up my time. Sorry. Everybody, my name is Taylor Hall. I'm with the Office of Undergraduate Admissions at NC State University. Thank you for joining us. It wouldn't be an interesting program unless it was a technical difficulty, but here to tell you a little bit about Raleigh real quick because we all have just six minutes. So we are located in the state capital. We are the largest university in the state of North Carolina with 34,000 students uh, studying in over nine colleges at NC State University, but Raleigh is also known as a work and play area. Uh, we are one mile off of the downtown area, which has a lot of events and festivals and music festivals and food truck festivals and art festivals, you name it, lots of recreation, many parks, lakes, camping trails, something for every indoor and outdoor recreational enthusiast. And NC State, even though it is the largest campus, uh, we do have a very reasonable um, 25 to 35 student class average size and our student to teacher ratio is 17 to one as well. And then you'll see some facts and figures and stuff going on right there as well. But moving on, uh, basically we offer a lot of different opportunities for our students, um, experiential opportunities such as entrepreneurship or known for students producing uh, their own companies, making their own companies before they leave the campus um, to pursue their own companies and dreams and what have you. Uh, we're actually ranked number 10 in the nation for students who have started their own companies as they are graduating NC State University. Co-ops and internships are available to all students of every major. You can do a summer, a semester, an entire year or all, are all options with this program. And then you return to the university to finish your degree and cap off the beginnings of having even more fantastic career opportunities as well. Study abroad, we have hundreds of programs in over 60 countries to add international flares and tools to your academic toolbox and research opportunities. We are one of two research intensive universities in the state. Our Office of Undergraduate Research supports and promotes discovery, inquiry, scholarship, and creativity-based research opportunities through mentored experiences with NC State faculty and other scholars and professionals. Um, it can look different according to your particular discipline that you're in, but regardless, students are gaining skills on how to create knowledge in their field. And NC State does offer research projects by departments, individual courses, and even undergraduate research abroad opportunities also. And we are located right there. We're next to the Silicon Valley of the East Coast, which is Research Triangle Park. And that is conducive for our students to have many opportunities to have research in their areas of study and uh, no matter what your major is. Next up, our most popular majors, basically. This is the, the top 10 of the, um, the past year. We don't know what it's gonna be this year. We're still reviewing the applications, but basically these were the most popular majors for this past year. And it's not an exhaustive list of our majors as again, NC State offers many different majors and minors across our ten, uh, 10 academic departments. I said nine earlier, excuse me, all of which have a very, very popular following all over 100 majors, double majors are allowed. Lots of students choose minors, even double minors in some cases, but we hope it gives you a little bit of insight as to the differences that we have available to students, including our College of Design and our College of Natural Resources as well also. So a lot of different opportunities for a lot of different students as well. What we look for basically in the um, application, um, basically you must have at least 30 transferable college credit hours, including specific coursework, competitive GPA, maths, Englishes, possible sciences based on the major you're applying to. Having them all does not necessarily guarantee you admissions, but it does put you in an area of being competitive for admissions as well. 
Um, basically, your competitive transferable GPA, we recalculate GPAs. We'll drop the two lowest grades below a C minus in your college history, but we do count any other repeats above that with um, the original grade as well. Um, and again, you know, to make it better for you as a, and a better chance to give you. Your major specific coursework, you know, the most competitive applicants will have the 30 hours and the specific coursework based on the major on our website. You'll see what maths you need, Englishes and so on. And courses in progress can be considered also in the admissions process as well. But having them finished and then applying can give you an edge in the application process also. Your accomplishments involvement outside the classroom because of the heavy emphasis on academic preparation and enrichment activities should complement the major. Uh, you're applying for if you have that chance, basically. So basically, you know, it can range in a lot of different ways of having, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, anything, it, extracurricular activities, doing social um, work, doing um, community-based service work, anything along that line, military experience and what have you. So it just depends on what you want to do and what is there for you. And then you're interested in the academic program. There is an essay for it. Definitely, you want to make sure you tell us why you want that major so we know that you're very serious about it. Recommendations, take a picture of this because I'm running out of time. Recommendations for competitive applicants. Um, that'll tell you exactly what you need in the 30 transferable credit hours. Baccalaureate degree plans, all the universities and the part of the comprehensive articulation agreement have these plans for you to maximize your transferability from the North Carolina Community College system. And then we have transfer databases from over 3,800 colleges worth of credit that we have seen and evaluated in our transfer database. But right there, take a picture of it with your iPhone and that will get you where you need to be and seeing all of these opportunities for you as well. And then my final screen, these are our dates and deadlines. We take students for the fall. We take students for the spring. We do not accept, take official um, applications for the summer, but however, we do, you can, um, if you get a summer off, if you get a fall offer, you can back it up to the second summer session entry. Take a picture of this. And if you have any other questions, just get in touch with us in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Next up, we have William Peace University. All right, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. Give me one minute to share my screen. All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. My name is Emily. I'm an admissions counselor at William Peace University. We are a small private liberal arts school located right in the heart of downtown Raleigh. We're stones throw from NC State. Um, and I'm so happy to be here to share a little bit more information about us for you guys today. Um, so just an overview of some of the most aspect, most exciting aspects of being at William Peace. Again, being in the heart of downtown Raleigh, um, you know, NC State couldn't have said it better. It is a very exciting place to be. Um, we really are in the hustle and bustle of downtown um, and all of the exciting opportunities that come with that. We were founded in 1857, so we've been a part of the Raleigh community for a very long time, and we're very proud to call the city our home. Um, we spend a lot of time uh, dedicating ourselves to enriching that neighborhood through neighborhood engagement, um, community service service and then we host tons of guest speakers, performers. It's a really exciting campus to be a part of. Um, so definitely always something to do. Um, and at our heart, we really are a close knit community. This is not a place where you're going to get lost. This is not a place where you're going to sit in the back of a lecture hall with $300 students and a teacher who doesn't know your name. This is a place where your academic advisors, your teachers are going to get to know you, get to know what your individual goals are and help you be successful in those goals. So just a little bit about the transfer process. Um, we really eliminate some of the barriers that might come with uh, applying as a transfer student. Uh, you can transfer up to 90 credits. Um, we have extensive articulation agreements with different um, community colleges, such as community, community colleges, such as Wake Tech. Um, and we offer a really personalized advising experience. Like I said before, you're going to get to know your advisor. You're going to be talking with them and doing critical thinking about what classes you're taking and how those are helping you achieve your goals. Uh, we also offer scholarships specifically for transfer students um, to increase the level of merit-based aid available. Um, we have an average financial aid package of over $18,000. So we definitely have ample um, merit and need-based aid available. Um, and then as a transfer student, you'll engage in a transfer specific orientation um, to make sure that you're getting all of your needs met, all of your questions answered before you step on campus for the fall or the spring. 
Um, so a little bit about our approach to the learning process, process at William Peace. Um, we have a little bit of a unique approach. Uh, it's called experiential and immersive learning. Um, and basically what that means is taking what you're learning in the classroom, getting out, getting your hands dirty, and really um, getting that experience before you graduate. Um, so it's a very hands-on approach. We really take advantage of how um, engaging our faculty members are. Our faculty are the best. They are extremely uh, dedicated to student success and student learning. We have a thriving mentorship culture on our campus. Um, it's a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio, so that is teeny teeny tiny for a college. Um, and then internships are the other big part of that. Internships are built directly into every single major. You will complete at least one internship by the time you graduate, and those are really customizable to your goals depending on what you want to do, um, and your academic advisor will sort of uh, hold your hand and guide you through that process of, of seeking out and completing a really successful internship. Um, some more areas. I'm going to hurry up because I'm running out of time. Uh, we offer really ample student support at William Peace. Um, again, our Office of Academic and Career Advising, uh, they are really interested in working with students one on one. Um, our, our Office of Diversity and Inclusion is a very, very important part of our campus. They really touch all aspects of campus life. We are very committed to providing an inclusive um, and welcoming environment for everybody who steps foot on our campus. Um, that's one of uh, the things that we're proudest to say we're passionate about. Out. Um, our wellness center, we offer free professional counseling for every single student who needs it, as well as really ample support for students who have disabilities, learning differences, any kind of special circumstance where you need that extra little boost of support. Um, we're really awesome at providing that for our students. Um, so we're happy to talk with you about what that means uh, for your particular circumstance. Um, and then our office of student involvement, we are a very involved campus. Um, we really, uh, you know, have tons of registered student organizations. It's very easy to start your own student organization. Um, so we encourage students to take advantage of that as well. Um, some of our top majors in the past year, our simulation and game design program has really, really taken off. It was ranked number one in the state last year. Um, so we're very happy to see that growth in that area. Uh, some other popular majors are criminal justice, biology, business, and psychology. And this year we actually added interactive design, esports and gaming administration, and HR management to our docket. Um, so really wide range of majors within the liberal arts disciplines. Um, just a little bit about our admissions process. We are rolling admissions, so we're happy to accept uh, your application at any point during the admission cycle after it's opened up. Uh, usually it will open up in August, um, so for the next year it'll open up in August and you're welcome to apply for the spring or the fall. Um, it is a very holistic process. We are totally test optional. We don't require test scores. We never will again. <laughs> um, and we require your college transcripts from every college you've ever attended, um, as well as one short answer question, a $35 application application fee and and from then it'll be two weeks before you hear back from us with the decision so it's a really quick turnaround um, and we really can get back to you quickly all right I actually sped up a little bit too much um, but we are so happy that you um, took the time to join us today. Uh, if you have any questions at all, um, we as an admissions team are very accessible and hands on throughout the entire process. Um, so we are going to be reaching out to you to see how things are going um, to help you with anything that you might run into during the application process. Uh, we really are here for you. We understand, um, you know, that transferring to a new school can be overwhelming. Uh, so we're here to, like I said, eliminate some of those hurdles um, and really make sure that you're getting the most out of your education. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me today. Again, please reach out if you need anything. And thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Fayetteville State University. Okay, thank you so much. Let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get started. Um, so again, I'm Brooke Van. I'm the Assistant Director of the Transfer Recruitment Team. Sorry, my lighting is the way it is. <laughs> it's raining today. Um, but I want to share some information on Fayetteville State University and the transfer process. Um, as some of you may know, we are the second um, oldest HBCU in the state of North Carolina. Um, right in the heart of North Carolina in Fayetteville, we have under about 7,000 students. Our ratio is about 17 to 1 now, so we are creating up. Um, we are excited to announce that we are now an NC Promise school with our $500 tuition per each semester. And that is also $2,500 for out-of-state students. Um, just some academics. We do have 33 um, bachelor's programs. We have 17 master's degrees and 16 online degree completion programs. Um, some new ODC programs that we have now include mathematics and computer science. 
just to talk a little bit about scholarships. So for students who are transferring in, oftentimes they think they do not qualify for scholarships. Um, that is no longer the case. Uh, we have several new merit-based scholarships that we are offering for our transfer students. Um, we have one that is coming up for fall 2022, um, which is for military connected students. Um, it is a full scholarship and it covers your entire tuition. Um, so that is currently out. The deadline is coming up um, next week, actually next Friday. Um, so I definitely we wanted to put that out there. So we have our merit-based scholarships, and then we have our institutional scholarships. There are over 50 institutional scholarships available once you've been admitted to the university. So we want you to come to Fayetteville State and we want you to also have fun while you are here. Um, so we have over 120 clubs and organizations, um, sororities, fraternities. Uh, we're really big on our sports here. So shout out to our uh, men's basketball team, our volleyball team, uh, cross country and track and bowling all won this year for the championship. So we were really dominating this year. We're excited about it. Um, we are known for our homecoming and our rodeo week, which is coming up. So there's a lot of fun things that you could come and do and participate in and network. Um, this year, we did offer 100 paid internships for our students. And next year, we are shooting for 200. Um, here's a tool. You can take your phone out and take a picture of the QR code. Um, so say if you wanted to know what credits we're going to transfer in on the front end, you can use our transfer equivalency self-service tool. Um, you can plug in your credits and it will let you know off bat how many you have if you're looking to transfer into Fayetteville State. We have a full list of schools that will pop up on the list. Applying is really simple. Um, of course, if you are active duty, we will waive your application fee. Uh, but once you apply, we just need all official transcripts. And if you're under the age 21, we'll need your high school transcript. Um, the minimum that we're looking for is a 2.0 or higher. And then of course the residency is already included in your um, application if you are an NC resident. So just some deadlines coming up. So for the summer session, um, the deadline is coming up May 1st. And for fall, it is June 30th. And so here are, um, this is my colleague here. And again, just feel free to take a picture. I'll drop my information in the chat, uh, Mr. Hawkins. So one of us will be here to help you um, get through that transfer process. Like I said, it's very simple. I know it went pretty fast, but um, if you are available this weekend, definitely check us out for our spring open house. It's gonna be from one to four o'clock. Registration is still open and you'll have an opportunity to connect with our um, advisement team. We have an academic advisor for every single major on our campus. So check us out. Thank you so much. Next up, we have University of North Carolina, Asheville. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Lindsay Prather, and I'm Assistant Director of Admission here at UNC Asheville. I work with all of our incoming transfer students, with our local community colleges, military veteran students, adult students. Um, all of those populations. So I am also a proud alumna. Uh, so I graduated from UNC Asheville in 2010 um, and could talk about it forever, but I will try not to. Um, okay, so a couple things about UNC Asheville. We are located in the heart of the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, we are uh, on the smaller end of the UNC system schools. So we have consistently under 4,000 students on campus. Uh, we like to keep it that way. Uh, that small size means that we have a very personalized, individualized experience at UNC Asheville. You get the opportunity to develop really close relationships with your faculty and advisors. As you can see, we have a student to faculty ratio of 13 to one. Um, so that gives you a lot of opportunities to, to really connect and network and, um, and develop those relationships that are so important in college. Uh, so we are a, a liberal arts institution. We are consistently ranked in the top public liberal arts colleges in the country. Uh, so that means that you're not only getting the depth of knowledge in the major that you choose, but also a really strong foundation of, you know, kind of what employers call those soft skills, right? How to ask questions, how to work on a team, how to communicate effectively, uh, all those good things. We are consistently ranked as well as a national best buy university. So the quality of the education that you're getting for the price that you're paying is really unique. 
Uh, we have a lot of opportunities for students to personalize their education at UNC Asheville, including study abroad. We've got partnerships with over 55 countries around the world. You can do everything from a uh, couple weeks in the summer all the way up to a full year of study abroad. Internships are another way you can personalize your experience here. Over 50% of our students complete at least one internship while they're at UNC Asheville, really helping you to get that, that foot in the door with um, the career that you want after you graduate. Uh, and then over 70% of our students complete some type of undergraduate research. That's one of the main things that we're known for at UNC Asheville. We actually co-founded the National Council of Undergraduate Research back in the 80s at UNCA. Uh, so we're very proud of that opportunity that we offer to students to do essentially graduate level work at the undergrad level. Uh, we've got students that have published in peer reviewed journals, have done uh, presentations all across the country. Uh, so we're very, very proud of that. Um, also, you know, student life, of course, we've got over uh, 60 student organizations, everything from um, a Quidditch club to a philosophy club. So all sorts of options there. Um, and then we also have 16 division one sports teams, uh, essentially everything except for football, soccer, baseball, tennis are probably the, the best known ones, um, but we are very proud of our, our Bulldog teams. So uh, again, you know, the small class sizes are consistently the number one thing that students say they love about UNC Asheville. Uh, we kind of joke that there's not really a back row of the classroom at UNCA, so not the type of place to be if you are trying to be sort of an anonymous student uh, in a 300 student lecture hall, but it is the type of place to be if you're interested in engaging and having those um, those really connected conversations one-on-one uh, -on -one and face-to-face. -face. Our faculty are absolutely amazing uh, because we are um, almost solely an undergraduate institution. All of our classes are faculty taught, so they're not taught by graduate assistants or student teaching assistants. Um, they're all taught by faculty. Uh, Hands-on learning is really important to us, so of course we live in uh, the beautiful mountains, and so trying to get out and experience that environment as often as we can. Our environmental studies students are consistently out there testing water quality in the French Broad River. Atmospheric science students are, um, are down at the NOAA Climate Data Center um, getting resources there, so so all sorts of opportunities. We are less than two miles to downtown Asheville, so not smack in the middle, um, like a cl classic college town, but accessible enough that, uh, that you can easily get to downtown, but you don't have to be in the middle of the hustle and bustle if you don't want to be. Uh, it's very easy to get around. A lot of our students ride their bikes downtown. Um, amazing food is probably the main thing that Asheville is known for, as well as a really thriving, almost underground music scene, uh, as well as a strong artist community as well. And then of course, hiking, camping, amazing opportunities, either on your own or through our campus rec center. So this is a list of the majors that we offer. We have uh, over 30 majors at UNC Asheville. Uh, a couple of really unique ones here. We've got a mechatronics program. We are one of only a handful of ABET accredited mechatronics degrees in the country. Uh, that's a joint program with NC State, though it's fully at UNC Asheville's campus. Atmospheric sciences is one that we're known for as well in the region. So students who are interested in meteorology, um, health and wellness promotion is a fantastic foundation for students who are interested in doing something maybe in the health field, but not quite sure exactly what. So that gets you a really strong foundation. Uh, and then a lot of really good opportunities in interdisciplinary studies as well. Because we're liberal arts, we'd love to give students that opportunity to kind of combine programs where they can. So a great example of that you'll see here on our minors list is our arts management and entrepreneurship, which was actually just recently bumped up to a major. Uh, so that's kind of learning about the arts and creatives side of business as well as the, the more marketing and, and kind of nitty gritty side of business as well. We've got some great pre-professional tracks if you're interested in pre-health, pre-med, uh, pre-vet, as well as a teacher licensure program, you can add a teaching license to any of the majors on campus. Financial aid, the main thing to remember is to complete that FAFSA. We do have some scholarships specific to transfer students if you're a member of PTK uh, or if you uh, know somebody who graduated from UNC Asheville, you can have them refer you for that scholarship as well. Um, so here's my contact information. I do work with our transfer students. A lot of you are also military veteran students, so we do have a VA certifying officer on campus that you can connect with, uh, and I would be happy to help you connect with them. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Barton College. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. So my name is Rachel, and I um, am one of the associate directors of admissions here at Barton College. Uh, we are located in Wilson, North Carolina, in the eastern part of the state, and we are um, 
right off I-95. Uh, so as you can kind of see across the scene, screen, we're right around 1,100 students, making that average class size uh, 16, and our uh, faculty staff ratio or faculty student ratio 11 to 1. We have over 50 majors, minors, and concentrations, which you'll see listed here. Uh, very focused on that hands-on experience. Uh, so with all of our majors, you're going to get some sort of hands-on experience, whether that is uh, directly in the classroom, internship, uh, field trips that they take, um, or other programs that you can do outside of the classroom with our different clubs and organizations. Some majors to highlight, we're really known for our education and nursing throughout Eastern North Carolina, as well as the full state. Uh, business is very popular, as well as our sciences, so within exercise science, and um, our biology and health science programs as well. You'll see we also have majors within humanities and various art majors as well. So alongside your work inside the classroom, we have lots of opportunities to get uh, involved outside the classroom. So we have 23 Division II NCAA sports. You can see a list of those there, um, as well as over 50 clubs and organizations, including Greek life. So we have social uh, Greek life, as well as different academic um, and honor societies as well. Some of our clubs do hold scholarship opportunities. So we have a pet band, marching band, esports, which is growing uh, throughout the state, uh, artworks for our art majors, as well as others. So you'll indicate some interest uh, within your uh, clubs and organizations and interest in those through the application process. And we'll work with you uh, personally throughout that process with those scholarships. So just to touch on what our admissions process looks like, it is pretty straightforward. Um, you're going to complete a free application online, whether that's through the Common App or directly on our website, barton.edu slash apply. So you'll complete that application for either that upcoming semester or uh, the following year. Um, and then you'll submit all college transcripts to us. So we'll have that sent from the schools directly to Barton. Once we receive those, we'll be sending those to our registrar's office and we'll evaluate all of your transfer credit towards the major that you've indicated on your application. We will then let you know how those credits transfer and what that looks like towards the degree at Barton. Minimum requirements are going to be 12 transferable credits um, and an overall cumulative transfer GPA of a 2.0 or greater. And so once we receive all of that, um, we will let you know what those transfer credits are, let you know you've been accepted, um, and also you'll receive a merit scholarship alongside that acceptance. We are rolling admissions, so you can apply at any point up to a year before that enrollment period. So if you're looking at the fall, you can go ahead and apply. If you're looking at next spring of spring 23, you can go ahead and apply um, now as well. Um, so we will be rolling. You can submit that application. Once we receive all transcripts, we'll evaluate those um, and we'll give you back your admissions decisions once those have been evaluated. So looking at the range of our merit scholarships, so depending on that GPA, you will be awarded a merit scholarship ranging anywhere between five and 12,000. Uh, private schools can be affordable, and that's the main thing to know, um, is you'll get that merit scholarship right off the bat, and then we're going to keep working with you uh, throughout that financial aid process to see what we can award you. Um, so these scholarships that you see listed are annual, so you'll receive that for every year that you're at Barton, uh, split over the two semesters. Any PTK members, if you're a member of that at the community colleges, you can submit that um, you're a member of that, and we'll award that $2,000. Again, this is just the beginning of everything. We will keep working with you through other institutions scholarships um, and any other scholarships that you may uh, qualify for. Uh, the best way to learn about Barton is to visit and experience it yourself. So what does a thousand, uh, 100 person campus look like? Um, come and see that for yourself. What does an average class size of 16 look like? You can come and see that. Uh, we offer campus tours uh, daily, um, including Saturdays, as well as an open house at the end of April that you can come and experience. Uh, that's where you're going to meet current students, meet with admissions one-on-one, -on -one, um, and have an opportunity to meet one of our faculty members and really understand uh, what your experience is like at Barton, both in the classroom, out outside the classroom and then after graduation as well. So Jill Hilliard actually works with all of our transfer students. So that's her picture there um, alongside her contact information. So she will work one-on-one -on -one with you throughout that admissions process, answering any questions that you might have. So just to kind of recap, um, again, a free application on our website with a minimum of 12 credit hours um, earned and a 2.0 transfer GPA. Uh, we'll work on getting you those scholarships um, and highlighting different things about Barton. Feel free to use the Q&A button to let us know if you have any questions and I'll put Jill's contact information in the chat as well. Thank you all. Thank you very much. And uh, next up we have South College. All right, hello. Um, let me oh, share my screen. Oh, 
All right. So hello, my name is Chloe McCleary Small. I work in the admissions office here at South College. Um, and we work with so many transfer students. South College um, is a very small private school here in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, we do have quite a few locations over the Southeast. Um, I'm located in Asheville, but we are also in Orlando, Atlanta, Georgia, um, Knoxville, Tennessee, and Nashville, Tennessee. Um, so plenty of places if you're looking to relocate, there are plenty of um, South College campuses to apply to. Um, here in Asheville, um, uh, actually all of South College is a health science based um, school. We offer lots of sciences. We do also have business programs and legal programs. Um, and I will go into our program offerings here in just a bit. Um, just like University of North Carolina at Asheville, we're about two miles um, outside of downtown Asheville. Um, so not very far to get into town at all. Um, and you can take the bus, drive, anything to get your way down there. Um, South College um, is a very, very small school here at the Asheville location. We have about um, 350, 400 students here. So looking at a very small class size, our student to teacher ratio is about one to nine. Um, with offering um, those health science programs, we're very experiential learning and hands-on learning. Um, we have state-of-the-art labs here on campus um, where you'll be able to get all of your hands-on experience. Um, with our transfer students, um, most of our transfer students are looking to apply directly into some programs. Um, so we have a bachelor's of nursing, physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, x-ray, ultrasound, things of that nature. So part of our application process will be to get all of your transcripts um, officially from each school that you've attended, um, have our registrar review those to see um, when you will be applying into your programs if you need other prerequisite courses um, for any of those programs, we do offer those as well if they were not included um, at your current school. Um, oh, here we go. So if you've graduated college um, or graduated high school recently and completed your associate degree looking to transfer to South College, um, we offer a South College Promise Grant to all of our recent high school grads within the last two years. Um, and then we are also a yellow ribbon school um, and military partnership for all of our military transfers that are looking for a school as well. Um, South College being so small um, and in our programs, all of our courses are capped. And so our largest class sizes outside of program particular are capped at 24. So again, you're not looking at a 24 student class. Classes really range, um, I don't know, 11 to 17 students, maybe something very small. Um, and then once you're in your program, you're moving through your program with a cohort. Um, South College is not a place that you'll be able to, again, skate under the radar. Um, there are no back seats. Um, most of our classrooms hold no more than 30 students. So everyone is um, not necessarily roundtable discussion, but all our voices are heard in those conversations. Um, I'm, on the screen now, you kind of see the list of offerings that we have. Again, mostly medical programs, uh, also pre um, pre-graduate programs. So we've got a doctoral um, a pharmacy, um, doctorate of physical therapy at South College as well, um, pre-farm, um, and also have a PA school here locally in Asheville. Um, so if you're looking to apply into um, graduate level schoolings, we have those offerings, um, or looking to get your BSN um, or trying to get into x-ray or ultrasound school um, and looking for another option, we offer bachelor's programs in those as well. Um, South College operates on a quarter system, so things are naturally sped up a little bit. If you've got all of your core curriculum done from your transfer program, um, all of our programmatic um, course offerings are only about six quarters, which is 18 months. So looking at a little bit faster track to your BSN um, or PTA, OTA, going to get through those programs a little bit quick. Um, these are a little more information on our medical programs that we offer. Um, I'm actually gonna put the link to this in the chat for everyone to be able to kind of look in, see what um, we offer. Um, if there's a program that you're interested in and don't know much about, um, all of this will be available for you as well as my contact information. I work with all of our transfer students um, and some of our incoming freshmen. Um, again, my name is Chloe um, and I'm in the admissions office. And if you need anything, I'll put all my contact information in the chat for you guys. Thank you so much. So next up, we have um, what we call a round robin Q&A. Um, so I'm going to invite all of our panelists to join me back on camera and unmute themselves. 
and um, going in the order of which you all presented. So starting with North Carolina State University, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Well, let's see. Oh, let me turn my video on. I would definitely go visit the campuses, especially on a quiet day. Um, the week, sorry, I'm out of breath. I ran up the stairs. Uh, the week time, you'll see all the campuses huff, hustling and bustling. But a great time to go see it is when, like on a quiet Sunday, we saw that pick up during the pandemic and people were wanting to see how does it feel to walk to the library by themselves, to the cafeteria, or to go visit a friend at a residence hall and see how it fits and feels. And a lot of people learned a lot of things about campuses, large and small. And they were like, you know, I see myself here or maybe something else. But basically, definitely go visit the campuses, talk to some students in the libraries if you can. And uh, cafeteria is a good place to see how you like the food as well also. So there's my little tips right there. <laughs> Next up. Thank, thank you. Next up, uh, William Peace University. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I was going to say the exact same thing. Visit, visit, visit. Um, it is really the best way that you're going to be able to envision yourself on a campus. Um, another thing that I would say is do your research. Um, figure out what specifically you're looking for in a college um, and really look for someplace that's going to fulfill most or all of those needs. That way that you're not feeling so lost, like you're grasping at straws, you know approximately what size you want, what location you want, what program you want. Um, it really helps eliminate some of the overwhelm that can can come with looking for a college. Um, so get specific about those needs. Fayetteville State University. Yes, definitely to um, go back on the research. Um, and my biggest advice is to start early. Um, even if you're not transferring anytime soon, meaning you have another year left, you're looking to get your associates, still start early. Um, that way you can make sure you're on track with the curriculum um, and you're taking the correct classes that can transfer into your program. And University of North Carolina Asheville. Yeah, so definitely start early. Um, but I would also say if you have any opportunity to speak with current students, uh, that's a really good opportunity to get a sense of, of what the school feels like, right? So I'm an alumna, but I graduated 12 years ago. <laughs> so it's really hard for me to speak to what, you know, what campus life is like now. Um, and you'll hear a lot of awesome things from admissions counselors and, and, and uh, faculty and things like that. But if you get the opportunity, speak to current students. Barton College. My biggest piece of advice is through the application process to be sure you're putting down um, accurate information for us to contact you. So we know that you're looking at lots of different schools. A lot of schools have a lot of different processes. Um, and so we will try to help you through that. And so put a good email down that you're checking, put a good phone number on there that you're um, willing to answer as well. Uh, so we know it's a lot, but we will call you and say, hey, this is coming up. Hey, we have this decision. Uh, so just be sure you're checking those um, and answering those uh, for us. That's the best advice I have. I love seeing everyone's heads nod like, yes, absolutely. And South College. Um, so, yeah, not only to visit, um, but I think William P. said, know the things that you want, but also know the things that you don't want. Um, so if there are things that are red flags or just deal breakers, don't have, you don't have to compromise because they have some things that you want. If there are things that you know you don't want in a school, you don't have to, you know, suffer through it. Um, and then eventually transfer again. So also know the things that you don't want in a school um, as well as the things that you do want. And starting again with uh, North Carolina State University, our next question is, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? You know, that, that's a hard question. I think about it all the time and we can answer it in a number of different ways because all of us have opportunities. Everybody on this screen and everybody who's not on this screen across the state, across the country. Um, for us, you know, we just have such a wide variety of different, 10 different colleges, over 110, 11 majors, double majors and minors, uh, rich in tradition and wild little fun times. Uh, I think, so I'm going to name a fun time. Check out the Krispy Kreme challenge on YouTube. It's pretty interesting. It's, um, you have to, everybody meets up on a Saturday morning. It started with just a few dozen students and now it's up to a few thousand people who are not students and students. And you have to literally in one hour, you have to run to a Krispy Kreme, eat a dozen glazed donuts and then run all the way back another mile. Actually it's two miles, two miles to Krispy Kreme 
eat two, a dozen glazed donuts, run two miles back, all in under an hour. And let me tell you, the scene gets really oh interesting. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a fun fact to remember. That there you second. go. There you go. Thank you. Uh, William Peace University. Now I'm picturing that, oh man. <laughs> uh, one thing I would ask students to remember about William Peace um, is that we care. I want students to remember the feeling of community and support that we provide on our campus. Um, you know, from the moment you pass through our, um, you know, you fill out our request for information form or we meet you at a college fair or we meet you virtually through, through strive scan we care we are here to help you throughout the process we do not want this to be intimidating or stressful um and yeah if you have a question even if you think it's a dumb question reach out to us tell us how you're seeing how your uh how your last semester at your college is going um you know tell us about your family and your animals and yeah we just we love getting to know you and and that's something that we really emphasize through our application process um, so show us who you are and, and, and talk to us. We love it. Fayetteville State University. Yes, um, at FSU, we are one big family. And I'm not just saying that. I know it sounds cliche, but you will feel it as soon as you touch foot on our campus. Um, no one is a stranger, even as I'm conducting campus tours and bring families from all over. People are speaking and, you know, talking to students and we don't force them. It just comes naturally. So um, at FSU, that's something we thrive on, making sure everyone feels welcome. Um, it's a very diverse population, especially with the military affiliation we have on campus. So it's just one big family and we love it. And uh, if you come take a tour, you'll definitely get those vibes. University of North Carolina, Asheville. Uh, I would say that whatever you want to study, we will work with you to make it happen. Um, so, you know, our interdisciplinary studies department is something that we're particularly proud of. I think it really represents the, the liberal arts philosophy at UNC Asheville. So we don't have a degree in art therapy, but if that's what you want to do, work with us. We'll get you psychology classes, neuroscience classes, and art classes, and, and we'll, we'll find a, you know, a good graduate program for you to apply to after that. Uh, so we will work with you to, to help you figure out what it is that you wanna do and, and how to get you there. Barton College. Main thing for Barton um, for you to know is that we are uh, a small family and that we will care about you once you're here. Uh, we have lots of opportunities from student support uh, to club involvement and athletics, and it's all there. Um, we want you to be part of it and take some initiative to be part of it, but um, it is such a close knit community and we really um, are a little family and people do say hi as you walk by. So um, it's just one of those of, if you want that part in small schools, not for everybody, but if you want that, uh, you could definitely get it at Barton. And South College. Um, if you're looking for hands-on um, experience and hands-on learning, um, but also we're a very career driven school. Um, and so if you know that you wanna get into the medical field and you can only learn so much from a book and are ready to kind of get in a lab and get into the workforce, um, South College can certainly help you get there. And finally, back to North Carolina State University, what is one, briefly, what is one myth you'd like to debunk on the college admissions process? That we don't look at the whole application. We do. We read them. We read all of them. I'm in the process of getting ready to go right back into reading all the way probably through midnight tonight. Uh, <clears throat> don't leave an application empty for any college. It just looks like you're not that serious that you're just going, oh, I'll just throw one that way and everything like that. No, you don't want to enter that way. You don't want to do that. Um, fill out the entire application. The questions are built for a reason for that college, for that university, for if you're going to a community college first, whatever it may be, the questions are there for a reason to get to know you, to find out you know, if the programs that you're applying for are right based on your application, depend, different essays, academic essay, or statement is what we like to say. We don't like to use the word essay, uh, but anyway, um, definitely Great. fill out the entire thing. We read all of it. Thank you. William Peace University. Um, yeah, I guess this is not necessarily admissions related, but um, when you're looking at colleges, I would love to debunk the myth that a private university has to cost an arm and a leg more than a public university. Um, we offer tons and tons and tons of merit-based aid um, that is available and ready for you. You just have to go through the application process and let us get you that official financial aid award letter to see what it's going to cost you. It can be really easy to fall into the trap of Googling what does X university cost, seeing it getting overwhelmed and saying, no, I'm only going to apply to public universities. Um, we really can bring the cost down to be comparable with some of those other universities that you're looking at. Fayetteville State University. 
Um, and this is just for my transfer students. Um, one myth is that transfer students won't have the same experience as a first time undergraduate freshman. Um, whether you are doing online or you're coming in person, you're still gonna have that full experience. We have online organizations. Um, so we'll definitely make sure you feel connected. And that's just a myth that people have is transfers, oh, I'm behind, or you know, I don't have that, that full time. So we'll get you where you need to be and get you up to speed. And University of North Carolina, Asheville. Two quick ones. One, the myth that you have to wait until you've completed your associate's degree before you can apply to a four-year university. Please apply in your final semester at the latest. <laughs> um, we can work with you. We'll get you that, that completed degree transcript once you've completed it. Um, so you don't have to wait. And then the second one is that a lot of schools offer application fee waivers for transfer students. Um, just because you're a transfer, just because you don't have a high school guidance counselor anymore, doesn't mean that you can't um, ask about whether there's a fee waiver. Barton College. Um, my colleagues have had wonderful answers. I will echo a lot of that. Um, the main one being that private colleges are affordable. So uh, talk to us, do your research. Um, and like I said, just provide us information. We're happy to help. And South College. Um, same thing for private schools and, and funding, um, but also I would say outside of, of NC, NC State, um, everyone's also a small school. Uh, so look into small schools. Um, if you have never heard of them, you don't have to like walk by or breathe by. Certainly look at things, go visit, ask questions. Um, so just because you've never heard of a school before doesn't mean that they're not as good as something that's massive. Um, it could be the best fit for you. Well, I want to thank our wonderful panelists for their insight and their information tonight. And thank you for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. Thank you and have a great day.